What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optobottoms coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks at Mattel, we're going to be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Rorivores Triceratops. If you'd like to pick him up or any of the other new Jurassic World figures, you can do so right now at Big Bad Toy Store. For the package, you have this really nice open display that actually lets you try the action feature. On the back of the package, you've got other figures that are currently available in this new Rorivores line, as well as another image showcasing the sound and head ram in action. Also, much like all of these new Jurassic World figures, you can use this toy in conjunction with the Jurassic World Facts app, which allows you to scan the bottom of the animal's foot and get some facts on the actual dinosaur. And here we have him opened up and out of his packaging. And again, I'm, I'm blown away by what Mattel has been able to do. These guys really do look terrific. Now, this is the first Roar of Wars figure that I'm taking a look at. So the biggest thing, well, obviously, he's got the button here that activates the whole thing. Uh, but again, uh, much like you know, the Stegosaurus that had the button that was nicely blended in, this is blended in really well. Also, uh, you can see, obviously, the little outline right there. Uh, you come around to the bottom, and this is where the battery compartment and the, the speaker is. Um... <sighs> It's not too bad. Uh, one thing that is kind of neat, like when you look at it kind of from the side, it almost looks like these uh, slashes kind of blend in with like ripples. So when you look at it, it just kind of looks like molded rippling of his skin. Obviously, when you look straight in the bottom, you can see the gap up underneath there. But I mean, that's pretty decent when you look at it. I, I really like how they, like I said, kind of went with the sculpt of the overall body. That's pretty decent. Obviously, it, it is a little bit of an eyesore when you look underneath. But again, uh, I mean, kind of just looks like slashes, you know. But uh, when you're looking at him and he's like this, uh, I don't think you're going to have too many problems n noticing that, honestly. Because uh, even from the side, like I said, you don't really notice it uh, because of the way that it's designed. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, looking at the paint, though, overall, really nice. Uh, you got the brown. You got some darker browns throughout there. Everything on here is painted very, very well. Uh, you can see the sculpting looks good. Um, did, I'm trying to remember. I think his tail. I think I had to plug his tail in. I don't remember exactly, but uh, you do have that. It doesn't rotate or anything. And then you look at the, uh, the sculpting and paint for the head. You got his crest right here, which has some darker colors around it. And then you got the... Oh, we couldn't see. You got the little white kind of bone pieces coming out. You got the bone, you know, horns coming out from the top, obviously from his nose. Really nice paint detail on his little beak area. That looks really good. Nice fade in there, giving it a nice realistic look. I love the paint detail on his eyes. You got a lot of brown with some uh, darker brown colors on there. And then uh, obviously uh, yellow eyes. But, I mean, it, it really does look terrific. I'm very happy with it uh, now obviously well you, you can hear that lifting it up oh, well it's not going to do it for me maybe i did actually hit the button so let's see push this back i'm trying to uh get the little screen thing so i can obviously get a good screenshot for the video but here we have uh, let's see how's that gonna look that might look pretty decent I might be happy with that and then if I hold that I can probably fill that gap in right there so there you go that's the screenshot you guys just watched me create it um oh I didn't even notice you got some like different coloration here in the back as well that kind of looks like poop on the back of his leg but as part of the roar of Ord line the thing that this guy has is he's got sounds uh, it also does have a little bit of an action feature you push the button here and the head goes back and really good sound effects too honestly some like purring sounds almost He's head banging. Uh, but overall, I mean, I'm really happy with that. Uh, so it sounded like you had like three uh, sounds going in there. And then you do it, and his head goes up, which is perfectly fine. Uh, the problem, though, is in terms of the articulation, 
Uh, I mean, it, it does kind of look left and right a little. Uh, it doesn't really hold. I mean, I guess it kind of does, but it's fairly, you know, loose in there. Uh, looking up and down, it doesn't stay up. I kind of wish you could get it to stay up a little bit more because he is kind of a squat little beast uh, doing a measuring kind of thing here uh, from the tip of his horn to the tip of his tail. You're looking at about 12 inches and then you're looking at about, what is that, about uh, four and a quarter is that about right? Yeah, about four and a quarter or so inches tall. So overall pretty good. Uh, but the articulation is limited because the uh, head gimmick and the, the sound effect uh, fairly solid. The legs, though, as with all of them, have the little outward motion. Uh, it can also move forward and back pretty decently. I mean, it, why would you want to do that? But you can if you really i guess wanted to uh, and then the front arms do that as well so you can move those in and out and they move forward and back but again it, i mean it's a dinosaur so i mean all you're really going to do is get like walking poses form so me slag i mean it's really the about it and then putting that there now of course bringing in the jurassic world facts app hit that button load it up Let's get the screen share go. Three, two, one, boom. All right, so loading, 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 loading. Really cool. I do really like this. All right, now let's see. We got the map and all this stuff. We're going to scan the foot. There's the little dino. You can see the dino right there. Come around to the underside of the foot. Again, uh, you can see that you have the little Jurassic Park logo there and then the foot piece right there we're gonna scan that guy give it a go and boom and there we have the triceratops moving around again I love the fact that the coloration is what the toy actually looks like I think that's terrific let's take a look at some of these facts here at the top left the triceratops is about 26 feet long and Wait, what? 26 feet long and nine, oh, nine and a half feet tall. Jeez. Next one. Uh, there's little evidence that the Triceratops lives in herds. There's, there is little evidence. That's interesting. So uh, a lot of people think of them as uh, kind of herding animals, but apparently there's little evidence of that. Uh, this one here says the name Triceratops means three horned face so there's that and then i don't know what you need more points to unlock these facts um i don't know what points are um that's interesting i don't know how many points i have but uh you can see you got the stegosaurus there you have the triceratops let's see uh, the flying ones i haven't gotten any of the flying ones yet uh, i haven't done the mosasaur there's some of the uh carnivores and then, oh, this is the Indominus, so that's kind of off to the side. Um, collection, so that's all of them. Yeah, I don't know necessarily the points. Uh, now, I haven't mentioned this before, but you can do quizzes, so maybe this is where they're talking about uh, the points. Welcome to the quiz. Let's see. Habitat. Three, two, one. I don't know what, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Uh... What is a Cenaros tops? I don't I don't know what that is. This is for ten points. Oh, it's telling me. <laughs> okay, it's telling me the answer. Near what type of environment Dilophosaurus tracks often found? Um, I'm gonna say seashores. Nope. Um, oh, it don't let me try again. What type of habitat does the Minimi live in? Uh, let's say a desert. No, nope, that's not right either. I'm losing points. I think. What type of environment does the Spinosaurus live in? Um, I'm going to say swamps. There we go. All right. Uh, the Monolophosaurus lives in the marshlands near mountains in some volcanoes. True. Uh, let's see. What else? Which type of environment does the Velociraptor live in? High, snowy, dry, underwater, in lakes. No, I'm going to say there we go. So I'm at the 40 points. Uh, the Diamond... Dimatron, then di, I can't say that lives in arid deserts. Um, I'm gonna say false because I think that's like one of those big ones that are always in the water. Uh, Dimorphodon lives in, uh, I'm gonna say there. The Stigmist, again, can't say that. 
lives in the plain near the interior seas? I don't believe so. Oh, no, I guess he does. Okay. All right, last question. What type of environment does the Stegosaurus live in? I'm going to say mountainside with thick bushes. No. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I won. Uh, what did I win? I don't know exactly what I won next. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new badge, Habitat. All right. You won 60 points. All right, cool. You've been promoted. All right, well, now now I'm curious. All right, so that's that. So I wonder if I can go here and see if I can unlock more of these. Oh, no, I guess I can't. Oh, well. All right, so that's that. Uh, but so you can see there's other things that you can do and learn in the uh, the game itself, uh, which I really do like. Uh, I think that's really nice. Uh, the the figures are terrific. Mattel, I, I'm I'm blown away by what you guys were able to do with these. Uh, it, I, I've talked to some uh, fellow collectors and everything, and it's really nice to get pretty decent representations of dinosaurs that are realistic you know the sculpting the paint all look really good as opposed to bright neon colors now granted we don't necessarily know the colors of them because we don't really see skin on these guys but uh they're good looking I, I think they really did do a terrific terrific job so all that being said if the new Rorivores or any of the other new Jurassic World figures from the Fallen Kingdom are pieces that you'd like to add to your collection, they are available right now at various retailers, or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the wide range of new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate your support and letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you already subscribed, now more than Ever, it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is, and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Another way that you can help support my channel is making sure you watch my videos all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.